What's up guys, welcome back to Tripod Crew and today I'm going to show you guys how to do the ghost effect in the Premiere Pro. Okay, so this effect is really simple, like, it's really simple. If you guys have Premiere Pro and you have two thumbs, you guys should be able to do the effect easy, okay? So, I'm gonna try to do this tutorial better than what I did last time because last time I tried to do this, I was, I was, it wasn't good. It, it wasn't good at all, I didn't like it. So this is me trying to redeem myself, okay? So first things first, we're gonna jump into Premiere Pro. Open up Premiere Pro, you wanna go to new project. For tutorial purposes, I'm just gonna type in Ghost Tutorial. Click OK. So once you have that screen open, you want to actually get your footage. So I already had it right here. Tutorial goes. I'm going to drag it onto the media. So first thing first you want to do is you want to make sure you have a scene of just the background. You don't want to be in it, just a scene of just the background. So, so I'm just going to get the footage of the table, drag it to the timeline. Now it's right here. So this is just a scene of the table. Nothing special, right? Okay, so moving forward. Now, the second thing, you want to get a scene of you walking across because this is a, a ghost effect. So you want to give off like a ghost is walking by. Ah, ah scary. Yeah. All right. So literally, you just want to get a video of you just walking past. Not the most exciting thing in the world, but you can make it fun. Look at me walk by. Look at that. Good job, Stanley. Okay, so for the video of you that's walking by, you wanna put that video on top of the video that didn't have anything on it. So so right now, all you're seeing on the video is you walking by. So below is gonna be the table, and on top on video two is gonna be of you walking, okay? See anything else? Look at me. Can't touch this. What are you gonna do is you're gonna click on the second video, you're gonna to go to effects and you want to change that opacity down all the way to let's say the whatever you feel like it actually doesn't really matter but whatever you feel so now when you go back you see like a little ghost effect here so what you're seeing right now on the table that's going to be the first layer and because we changed the opacity from the second video of you walking that's everything that's that's not really being shown so everything that you see that's being shown is that first layer make sense i hope so God dang it. Okay, so so pretty much this is it, but what I like to do to give it that like nice ghost feeling to it, what I do is I go to effects, you're gonna tap in blur, fast blur in, and what you're gonna do is you wanna change the blur to like maybe I'll say 14, 15%. So when you look back at it, look look how it looks. Yeah? Not bad, right? It's simple, but it is effective like when you're using like music. Let's say you want to make it like a little bit more creepy, right? So what you're gonna do is just add a sound effect, right? Put it on your audio and look how it sounds. Bruh. Got a little scared. <laughs> Got a little scared for a second, boy, I tell you. Alright, so that's like the simple part on how to do this ghost effect. Now let's say if you wanted to have yourself reacting to yourself Tripod crew. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, go to your media And we're gonna go right here. So right here you have me just sitting down you just have me just sitting down not doing much and I'm going to pretend to freak out like what what is over there? Oh my goodness. I can't believe it So you want to take that footage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag that footage to the timeline and see, I'm just sitting here, not doing much. Now, for the ghost now that I'm going to be reacting to, you wanna get up, and just for tutorial purposes, all I did was just walk. Just walk. Not the biggest thing in the world, but like I said, for tutorial purposes, we're just walking. So, what I'm gonna do is gonna take this. I walk, 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 walk. Take that footage, and I'm going to put it on top of the layer. Boom. See, as of right now, you don't see the Stanley that's sitting down because I covered it. So, what you want to do is you want to click on the top layer, you want to go to effects, and you want to put in crop. So you want to take that crop layer, put it on top, go to effects, and now go on the right, and just drag that right here until the other Stanley's being shown. <gasps> 
spoiler. And if you want to like edge the feathers out so it, it, look, it could look a little bit neater, you can go right ahead. So now, this is what you're seeing. But we want to make that look like a ghost effect, right? Okay, so it's going to be the same exact thing. So what you want to do is you want to change the opacity of you walking down to like uh, whatever makes you feel comfortable. So let's say you want to change that to look like a ghost. Let's say, let's say 18%, right? And like I said before, we, it looks okay so far, but we want to make it look more real in a sense. So we're going to go to the blur. We'll do the flat fast blur in. And then we'll make that blurry around, give it like 20, 19%, whatever. So if we play it back. Not bad, right? Yeah. And like I said, if you want to add some sound effects to it, just to give it that extra scare, let's, let's, let's do that and see how it sounds. So what you're gonna do is just gonna put it on the bottom layer. And once you play it, Boy, look at here. Boy, that don't scare me. Hold on, we're gonna drag it a little bit more. I wanna see how it sounds again. Ready? And. Yuki, Yuki, buddy. Yeah, yeah, it's going down right now. Alright, so that's that's pretty much it guys i'm trying my best to do better at these tutorials because i just did this myself like i just figured out what would i have to do to make a ghost and i just came up with this i didn't really look this up anywhere so i just wanted to share that knowledge with you guys so if you guys are trying to make like a little ghost effect well now you can if you guys have any questions about anything please comment let me know i promise you i will respond back thank you guys so much for your support and i'll see you guys in the next video okay